<laughs> Man, it's crazy. Seems like just yesterday you stand up at the posters all wide-eyed. <laughs> You've been through a lot. Hell, I put you through a lot. But it was all for one reason, to get you here. Your first UFC championship. I just want to say, uh, no matter what happens out there, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the fighter you've become. Yeah, don't get me wrong, though. If you lose, I'm gonna have to bust you up in the gym next week. <laughs> I already made space on the wall for a new picture, and you know how much I hate redecorating, right? So let's go get that belt, champ. Well, this young man has put together a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. He has worked his way up the ranks. And as a result, a UFC Bantamweight title fight comes tonight. This is his first UFC championship opportunity. You know title shots are hard to come by, especially at 135 pounds. We'll see if this young man can make the most of it in a matter of moments. All right, here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion. He has successfully defended the title in the past. A decidedly different challenge, though, here tonight. Prevailing wisdom is that this will be his toughest title defense to date. The odds suggest that this is a close matchup on paper, but he believes he's one of the GOATs, one of the greatest of all time. If you want to be that, certainly got to make good on this title defense tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jan is four years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the challenger, Dynamite. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Petter Number All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out. The forward. fighters touch him up. Let's go. 
All right, ready to go for round one. He has won his last three fights. We'll see if he can extend the winning streak to four. He has been nothing if not dominant every step of the way during this streak. So no denying what is at stake for this young man tonight. First order of business, though, taking care of what is an obvious challenge in front of him here tonight. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Boy, Ty Plump. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, continues to attack the head with those elbows in the clinch. All right, so a nice combination sets up the takedown there. He is not a one-trick pony mixing up the martial arts beautifully tonight. He has started as a wrestler, but you see now the finished product as he's able to throw those beautiful punches to set up the takedown. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? This might just be a matter of time. There is the tap, so he submits him with a beautifully executed triangle choke tonight. I mean, just masterful. The way he worked to that triangle choke was amazing to watch, and you could tell how high level a grappler this fighter is from his back. And you didn't even have to pay for your seat. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes, he takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, so there he is, the man they are all chasing at 135 pounds, your UFC Bantamweight World Champion, and what a way to get it done tonight with the submission win. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dynamite. All right, so there it is. Don't look now, folks. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion of the world, and this is going to be a night that he doesn't ever forget. He will never forget this night. He won the belt, surrounded by his great coaches, his family, his friends, everybody will celebrate him in the effort that he put tonight to become the champion.
right, let's get in there and move. Nice work. Now, focus on locking that in. Good progress. Good progress. Keep working on it. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Come on, you have to stop him from moving. Press forward. 30 seconds. Nice. Nice. Your jits is coming together nicely. Let's keep working. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Doing great. Next one. Nice timing. I love it. Combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Keep working there. Don't stop now. 30 on the clock. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Perfect. Nice. Here we go. 
Echo, shut him down. You got 30. Let's go. Excellent. All right, buddy. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. Keep working there. Keep working in there, okay? Keep working. Seconds left. Huge. Today we're focused on ground fighting. Well, the only way to do that is with an effective takedown. So let's drill single and double leg takedowns all day. Let's go. Get heavy on it. That's what I'm talking about timing and anticipation. There you go. Be ready. It up a little bit. Good money. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. 20 seconds. Give me all you got. Excellent work. Nice work. I like it. You stayed heavy on top, control your sparring partner with ease. Okay, I want you to push today. Give it everything you got. Let's go. Oh, that combo was tight. Come on. That's how we work. This is when we put it all together. Great job. Starting to fall apart. All right, stay on. All right, 30 seconds left. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice kick. Yeah, you felt that one. Uh huh. Nice work. Just keep drilling that. Never kick without setting it up with a jab or straight.
Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. That's it. Awesome combo. That's what we want. You dominated today. Good work. And coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak, he's got the finishes, he's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. So here he is, the UFC Bantamweight Champion of the World, making the walk for his first title defense. A lot of people say you're not the champion until you successfully defend the belt. An opportunity for him to do just that here tonight. Rested the title away earlier this year. Now an opportunity to cement his championship legacy with his first championship title defense.
Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Sterling is seven years his senior. He is two inches taller. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Uniondale, New York, presenting the challenger, Al Jermaine Funkmaster Sterling. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dynamite. I exit for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, round one is on the way of this UFC Bantamweight Championship fight for Blue. accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blood. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dynamite. Now they are the words any incumbent champion wants to hear and still, in courtesy of his knockout tonight, he is still the standard by which all 35ers will be judged. He can finally take a sigh of relief. We all understood that this would be a very difficult, a very tough fight. He got the job done and remains the UFC Bantamweight Champion.